Hello, Georgia B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this load of cards. I'm not going to make these two because this is the sloth and the giraffe. I'm going to make the third one with this stamp set and it's a turtle. I'm going to use the turtle. This is not my stamp set as it has my sister's name on it. Ooh, Sheena. I borrowed it along with a couple of others. So, I'm going to make a card using this turtle and uh, hope you're back on your feet soon. Oh, I've got the wrong one out. So, let's change that and put that one out. And I put that inside. Right. Inside I put sometimes that all there is to say and that I'm here for you. So that's what I'm going to be using. Card wise I have got Mossy Meadow, card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I've got a piece of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside some scrap a piece of another white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and I have embossed this in the leaf uh, embossing folder I have a piece of the forever fern DSP and I've got a piece it's three and seven eighths across and it is or it was four inches deep and I cut it down to one and three eighths so four inches up there one and three eighths there and I just I didn't measure it I just chopped it and that goes over there and then I've got another strip of the DSP a different design which I'm going to place on top I've got a circle can't remember which one that one there so that is number one two three four five number six of the scalloped circles I think they're is it the circles or the ovals that have I don't know which one of these is retired anyway I'm using them so I've got that and the reason that's cut out because it's this is too big to go in my sidekick. I've got some scraps of white for the tortoise which I will be using a stitched circle and that will sit on top of there and also um, the sentiment and this is it's not big enough. Oh yeah, cut out, not that one, this one, the scalloped oval to go on there, we'll cut that out, when we cut the circle out, right, so let's get rid of them, and we need this and this for our stamping, and we're going to stamp inside that and we'll stick all them together afterwards so with Memento Black we are going to stamp the tortoise you can tell these aren't mine, my sister puts a sticker on them right stamp him right there Make sure he can be cut out. Yeah. And we could let's 
Let's see if that works. <coughs> I think we might get away with that. But first of all, we want to colour in this tortoise. Let's colour it in. We've got light and dark crumb cake, smoky slate, and old olive. So first of all, the light crumb cake. And I just colour in his head and limbs in this. Today is the 22nd of July and it's my youngest great-grandson's first birthday, Elijah. Right, I'm going to, with Old Olive, I'm just going to, with my Um, brush in that's not really any good anymore. I'm just putting bits of green inside the squares of his shell. Then I'm going to finish, go around the edges of it. I'm just colouring in over the green. Old Olive. And then with the dark crumb cake, we should oh, go on that end. We should do the shell itself. Just going around the neck and arms, just a bit of shadow. And his head has got shadow there. Just cut up that in and blend that in a bit. Let my crumb cakes run now. Right, 
Right, and with the um, smoky slate, I'm just doing a ground in the turtle, tortoise, whatever you want to call it. Rid of these. Oops, just dropped one. And that's that one cut. So we will cut this out. Oh, got no tape. Those aren't little turtle. Um, get rid of that. Not, I don't think it's going to fit on there very well. Now I'm not going to take a chance. Let's stamp that again. In momentum. Not memento. Uh, that's fine. And while we've got the versifying open, we will stamp this in the middle. Put that one side. Let's. I don't know the overall die. There it is. There's our sentiment. We seem to be far away. No, that way. I think I've got the camera in a different place. And now we need to cut this oval out of this scrap. that on there. This is just being frugal. This is cutting all these, using all these scraps to cut out your bits of card. And that will go on there. Like that, that's nice. Right. Don't need that. Put them there. All we've got to do now is stick up, stick together the card. So, let's. Quite surprised this won't dry down because I haven't made a card for a few days. Had to move all my crafting stuff because my lounge diner carpet was washed. I should 
should have put this on before I glued it down. Never mind. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Glue this down before you glue your white piece down. And this piece. I'm going to have trouble trimming this down now. And I'm just putting that over there, just as a band. And then trim that off. I'll put it down. There we are, that went too bad. Right, now, screw this inside. You've been far away, I bet I'm taking cards out of sight. These stitch dies very often. Should do. I've got them. Should use them. I think that looks quite nice. And then the oval one. And sit up there. Hmm, I like that. We'll sit them up on dimensionals. This whole packet of dimensionals has been like this, just um the bottom protective sheet has been cut through as well. I bet I've done that wrong. Oh no. That's alright. Right, let's take these off. Place that right in the middle. Take them off and pop a bit of glue on the bottom there. And we're going to stick that just there. All we've got left to do now is stick some gems on it. Now I have got these. I got them from Craft Stash. I got these which are called Stormy Skies. I got Winter Berries. And I got some like candy, I can't remember. I haven't got them here, they're in my next card pile. Right, these I am going to put One there, with another one with it. I think I'm going to have to buy some more of these. I'm only going to put three on. Don't have green ones, which really I could have done with. But I never saw any green ones. Yeah, so these, they're called Glossies, pure, made by Pure and Simple, two ninety nine a pack. 
So there we have it, my card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for the visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.